Hey guys, it's Chloe and today I am here with a brand new video. So today I am here with a book talk for Heartless by Marissa Meyer and I am so freaking in love with this book. As my book talks normally go, I'm going to start off with a non-spoilery part and then go into spoilers. So definitely make sure you've read this book. First of all, I give this a 5 out of 5 stars. This book was absolutely incredible, especially for a standalone novel. It was amazing. Marissa Meyer has always like amazed me with her retellings. The Lunar Chronicles is one of my favorite series ever. So I love, love that she does retellings. She does an amazing job with them. This, I cannot believe was written by the same person. I cannot believe Marissa Meyer wrote this and the Lunar Chronicles because this book was so incredible, but it seemed so different from the Lunar Chronicles and it definitely made Marissa Meyer step away from the Lunar Chronicles and the sci-fi fantasy aspect of aspect of that series into the world of Alice in Wonderland. And if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Alice in Wonderland and retellings and Marissa Meyer is one of my favorite authors. So this was an amazing combination for me to read. So to start off with a simple synopsis, Catherine is nobility, but she wants to be a baker. All she's ever wanted to do is open a bakery. She loves baking, but her mother and father are very insistent that she court and marry somebody. They do not believe that a lady should have a bakery. They believe that she's a lady and she will be courted and married to a suitor who is also of nobility as well. This is the story before the Queen of Hearts. This is the story of who she was before she became the Queen of Hearts, before she became evil. And to have that entire story beautifully put in 449 pages was incredible. It was just absolutely freaking amazing. So now I'm going to start to go into spoilery talk because I really, really need to talk to somebody about this book. I'm going to go into spoiler talk. If you have not read this book, please go read it and come back. You, you have to read this book. It's so good. Go read it, come back and watch this video because we're about to talk about so many different things about this book. Okay, so let me start off that I loved Kath as a character. I thought it was incredible that we were going to watch this person transform into the evil queen. So I definitely was kind of waiting to see the triggers of that and see how that transformed her into the Queen of Hearts. Let me just say I did not like her mom in this story. Her mother was very insistent that she marry the king. She was very insistent that he married that she marry the King of Hearts and she doesn't want to marry the king. To me the king is honestly he's a blubbering idiot to me. The king was just he doesn't know what to do. He just he was very happy all the time, which is not a bad thing. I'm not saying that being happy all the time is a bad thing. It isn't. But he was just constantly didn't know what to do and he didn't know how to run a kingdom and I just I thought he was an idiot. And I I was like, she doesn't want to marry him. I, I understand why she doesn't want to marry him. She doesn't want to be a queen. She doesn't want to marry the king. And she just wants to open a bakery. And I was so supportive of Kath opening her bakery. I thought, I actually thought for a second it would happen in the book, but her parents are very insistent that a lady does not, it, a lady does not own a bakery. She doesn't. So of course, at the ball that's supposed to be her engagement ball, but ends up going badly, she meets the new court joker and his name is Jest. And I knew from the beginning that this is, this is going to be her love, her actual love, from the minute that she actually met him. And I thought he was adorable and funny and cute and he was just, he was just amazing. I loved him as a character. And I, I noticed that throughout this book they kind of kept twirling around their, I, I mean their mutual liking of each other. I was worried. He believed, Jess believed that she was going to be engaged to the king and he did not want to interfere with that at all. And which I understand, he was being a gentleman. But 
she was wrestling with her feelings for him the entire time and she finally came to the conclusion that she liked Jess, she loved Jess in fact, and he did not want to hide that from her anymore. And it takes a long time for them to admit that to each other, but they finally admitted it, they were gonna find a way to be together. There was, a, a, like, leading up to that point, there was a lot of flirtation from both parties, and it was so frustrating because I just wanted them to get together. I wanted her to just, like, abandon her parents, be like, bye, I don't want to marry the king, I don't want anything that has to do with this, so bye. Oh my god, it was frustrating. Now, during the first ball, there was actually a Jabberwocky attack, and that is kind of, like, one of the big problems of this book. That's the, one of the main conflicts in the story is the Jabberwocky and trying to figure out where it's coming from, why it keeps attacking, what's going on, because they all believed it to be a myth. Now also playing off of that, reading this book, I'm a huge Alice in Wonderland fan, so I loved reading and noticing all these different characters and where they fit into this story and this retelling, and I adored it. Like we found out that the Red and White Queen are the queens of chess, which is another queen, it's a queendom that's not where they live, they live in hearts. I like seeing all these different characters in all these different areas and matching them up to the original character in the original fairy tale. One character that I was constantly frustrated with as well was Hatta, and of course he is a character based off of the Mad Hatter and he was constantly frustrating me because he thought that Kath was kind of playing and toying with Jest and that was very frustrating that she that he did not believe her to be true and to love Jess like she said she did and she really did love him and it was very annoying to me so I kind of have mixed feeling about his character but again, this is a retelling. I'm not expecting him to be exactly the same as the fairy tale. With this book, I definitely didn't go in with expectations. I wanted it to be good. I wanted it to be really good because it's Marissa Meyer and I love her. But I tried to go in without expectations at all. I had previously read a synopsis of the book, but I had forgotten about it. So I didn't read another synopsis before I read this book because I wanted to go in kind of just not knowing what was going to happen. And I think that's what really, really helped me with this book because I I ended up loving this book and it's definitely a step back from the Lunar Chronicles without, you know, the sci-fi aspect and the, the different futuristic technology. That's not it. This is a completely different area for Marissa Meyer, where it still has that fantasy element, but it's a retelling and it just, it works, it flows. Everything that I've read by Marissa Meyer just flows perfectly, the retellings that she's done. Lunar Chronicles, they flowed, Heartless flows, and I just, this really, really brought my sense of love for Marissa Meyer books back, and I, cannot wait to see what she writes next and I like Marissa Meyer just continue to write retellings because they make me so happy and they also break my heart at the same time. This book it made me very very happy and it broke me all at the same time like this book slayed me because at the end Atta, Raven, Jest, and Kath are basically told what their future is going to be if they step through a door. They're trying to escape to Chess so Jest and Kath can be together and so Jess does not have to steal her heart for to or to save the war that's going on in Chess. So they're escaping to Chess and they're given this this pr prophecy that Jess will die and Hatta will go mad and um and Kath will become the Queen of Hearts. I was very very scared that this was going to happen. I was hoping it wouldn't but I was still scared that it would and of course Jess 
just dies and he's killed but not by who we thought we thought he was gonna be killed by Raven but no he gets killed by Peter Peter and my heart broke because Kath essentially went crazy and lost ev lost everything that she hoped for and dreamed for and this book just slayed me by that and she just lost all her happiness she was done she she went back to the king formally accepted his proposal and they got married and she solely did that for finding peter peter and killing him and that is what that is what brought the off with her off with their head thing that she's all about. Peter just didn't like anybody because his wife was the Jabberwocky and he didn't know how to control her or fix her or anything and he he was trying to help his wife but he didn't have to murder Jess in that and I just I'm I'm broken. This book broke me. So now that I've explained why I'm broken over this book I think it's time to wrap this video up. This book five out of five stars. I wish I could give it more than five stars because I loved it. I am broken. It was so good. Uh, oh my goodness, it was so amazing. Definitely go read this book. If you haven't read the Lunar Chronicles, go read that too. Read everything that Marissa Meyer has ever written because it is incredible and I like I'm literally about to cry thinking about this book again. Like I'm about to cry because of how broken I am over this book. So guys, that is all I have for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to take a behind the scenes look at my life, you can click here to subscribe to my second channel. You name it, I probably do it on that channel. And if you like what you see here, you can click here to subscribe to this channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!